Hello, I'm Tim from Toy Tinker Tim. In this episode, I'm doing a repair and restoration on this Kenner 1979 Star Wars Imperial Troop Transporter. Uh, this is a toy I've had since my childhood. And there's three main things I'm taking a look at here. One is a broken wheel. I'm dealing with missing and uh, loose stickers throughout and just a lot of dirt and dust kind of grunge build up on the surface. I want to get that cleaned up as well. So this toy is still from a time when it was fairly easy to open up things. Um, there's three screws in the front, uh, front half of the underbody. There's also a pair of swivel type uh, tabs here that you can see from the inside of the rear compartment. These little side pods come off fairly easily. Uh, you just kind of push up for, uh, from the bottom of it and then it swings out, kind of hinges out at the top. You can see here there is a ton of uh, dusty grunge on the inside of the vehicle. Having a screwdriver tool with a magnetic tip uh, makes this job a lot smoother uh, when you're not worrying about uh, little screws uh, dropping and getting lost here as you go. These three screws are it. Uh, the rest of it is just uh, tabs that are holding the bottom half of this in place. And here at uh, about the middle compartments, uh, there are a couple of tabs there as well uh, to access. In the process, you'll need to take out these middle pods uh, to be able to get uh, into those uh, attachments under there. If you take a fine tip screwdriver, you can kind of push in those tabs to help release the base here. Here's a quick look at that speaker mechanism uh, from the underside. This one's working fine, so I don't really want to mess with it here and uh, end up with a problem in the process. This base is fully disassembled. I can take a look good here at that uh, wheel with the broken missing axle. The axle, you can see it broke off pretty cleanly uh, off of the wheel. And um, so if I were to just try to glue a replacement stub on there, uh, there's nothing really there to hold. It would most likely just snap right back off again. Just checking over the rest of the base of the vehicle for any damage or that might have been hidden, uh, but it's pretty basic. Really, it's just a lot of dusty grunge. So I'm using here, it's some uh, 3 16th inch 
wooden dowel. And I'll trim that down to the length of the axle the shaft stub here. It's still in place on the other side. And then uh, next, I'm taking a uh, twist drill and drilling out the center of that dowel uh, for the axle replacement. So now I'll just be drilling out the center of the wheel uh, where the replacement axle is going to be lining up at. And I'm drilling this deep enough to where it's actually going through the wheel into the other side, uh, into the axle that's still in place. So next to join these pieces together, I'm using a wire brad. Um, this is like three quarters of an inch long, the brad is. Uh, the container I have for these wire brads is like a miscellaneous uh, mix of them. So I'm not sure if this is like a number 17, um, but I can tell you it's three quarters of an inch long here. I was going to use uh, an epoxy glue with this, but the fit is so tight here that I'm going to skip it. Uh, you know, if you're making this repair, it might be something you're wanting to do, but I'm pretty satisfied with the grip of this, of what it's having just to work as it is. So after I've pressed the wire brad in as far as it's possibly going here, I'm taking a pair of snips and just clipping off the head of the wire brad. And then the wooden dowel piece here that I've drilled out just fits snugly over that. And um, it's got a good fit and alignment. So the other good thing about this repair is that it, it's not only replacing the broken axle piece, but it's going to be reinforcing uh, the other side of the axle from future brakes. Now I'll just paint it uh, with a black paint. Uh, you can use an enamel. Um, what I've got here on hand is acrylic, so I'm using that and then I'll put a uh, clear sealer over that once it's dry to prevent any uh, paint rubs.
So as that paint cures on that wheel repair, I'm going to clean up the rest of the underbody of this troop transport. Uh, instead of just washing it under running water, uh, I'm using a brush here to clean the heavy dust out first. Uh, getting it out of the corners and cracks and everything so it doesn't end up just clumping into the corners when there's water running over it. Uh, and I'll be using just uh, a warm water and uh, a couple drops of Dawn dish soap in there to get it nice and clean. This plastic has a dull finish so I'm not wanting to use a plastic polish on it. Just get it back down to its base natural condition. On the top here, at first I was worried that there was some melt marks and it turns out these dark spots are just dust and grunge on there. To clean out here in the grooves, I'm using a, a wet cotton swab, you know, like a Q-tip with some Dawn dish soap on it. Um, it'd be quicker just to wash it with like a damp cloth or spray it down. But with the stickers and electronics here, I'm just gonna take a slower, more careful process. So this wetted uh, soapy swab here also is gonna work good in the tight spots uh, around the turret, the buttons and uh, decals in through there. Although I'm not working on the electronics here on mine, at least, I'll show you how easy it is to access that area. You know, this wall in the rear compartment, uh, it just slides in a track. There's no glue, at least not on mine. And if you pull it down, you'll see how easy it is to have more access there. So now the black base, it's cleaned up and it's dry. Um, the repaired wheel, I've slipped back in, snapped it back into place. Uh, these wheels really don't move that much. They don't move very easily. Uh, but the repaired wheel has the same amount 
of action as the other two originals. So uh, now it's just a repeat process uh, in reverse to reattach the base. So starting with the tabs in the storage compartment area at the rear and working my way forward to the three screws in the front there. I'm not sure why as a kid I had so much trouble getting these uh, stickers put on there on the door, but I put the one on here totally wrong, upside down, everything. But uh, at least one is better than none here. The other one over time has just disappeared. It's fallen off and is gone. The door is a little tricky to remove, and I think in part it's because I'm also afraid uh, that with the aging of the plastic, it might have made it a little more brittle and fragile. So I'm trying to be extra careful getting that off. So I'm taking these original stickers and uh, the one from the door and one of the yellow rectangles uh, to scan them in and then duplicate them from there. Surprisingly, in a good way, uh, the red door decal came off pretty easily. So I'm working on my scans in Affinity Photo. Um, I've duplicated them here and uh, recreated some shapes here for the yellow rectangle. My copies, uh, I've sprayed them with a couple coats of clear matte finish. It's a spray fixative that's used on drawings and uh, other artwork as a sealer protector. The yellow matched really nicely and I would have liked a little more vibrancy to the red, but that's due to a limit of my printer being able to get a super deep red. So to get the residue from old stickers 
off of the plastic. I'm just using some rubbing alcohol on there. Uh, I'm leery of using anything very strong. Uh, other than that, I'm afraid it's going to discolor plastic and uh, or maybe dull the finish of the plastic itself also. So rubbing alcohol and some good hard uh, elbow grease on there to work that out and clean it off. To attach uh, the decals that I've made, that I've printed out that aren't really decals, uh, but I'm using uh, rubber cement to put those on with. And then also here I'm taking a toothpick with a rubber cement to work under the edges of decals that have started to lift off um, to make sure those get just flushed back down. The idea with the rubber cement is, is if there's excess it'll just rub off. Um, it won't be clinging or leaving a permanent film uh, on the surface of the plastic or the paper label itself. And so that's the repair and fix up here, restoration for this Kenner Star Wars uh, troop transport vehicle. Uh, we got that broken wheel fixed up, uh, loose decals reattached, got the vehicle cleaned up, and uh, duplicated, made some of our own decals here in this process. So hopefully some of these ideas will help you out too. Maybe some of the vintage toys that you have, kind of bringing back some fresh life to them. If you haven't uh, clicked subscribe yet, please do. And if you have, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. And uh, thanks for watching.